Hello everybody, welcome to another Pixel Hunt 3D Weapons video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the weapon from the Battle Patch, which I believe is pronounced Aphrodite Crossbow. So I hope you guys do enjoy, and let's get on with the video. Okay. So over here we've got the weapon Aphrodite crossbow I think it's called and it shoots in three directions has charm heals your teammates a mobility of 55 which is not that bad capacity of 10 fire rate 77 and since it comes originally in legendary it has an efficiency of 399 just like all the others and this is a weapon you get from the free part of the battle pass at the max tier tier 30 so I'm first going to head into a polygon with it and let's see how it is so we've got um it shoots in three different shots and just one of them can usually take down the, the opponent's shield um, if you hit all three, it's almost always a guaranteed one-shot. I don't think it's ever been more than that. But it's just a really overpowered weapon, especially when you get headshots. When you get a headshot with all three of the bullets, I don't think... I'm pretty sure it's 100% guaranteed uh, one-shot. So, um, it's really cool that it deals so much damage. It actually kind of reminds me of the offensive fireworks. Um, it's got a really cool reload. You like shake the heart thing. And then you put it back into the crossbow. And it has that like really cool bowstring. It's like glowing neonish. And then the scope is really nice. Um, so now I'm going to go into a match with it. So... I think, of course, since it is a sniper, I'm going to first test it out in a sniper forts, and then I'm going to head over to a um, a normal team fight, see if it's usable for category spam. So, right here, you guys will see how overpowered it is. Um, with all three shots, you'll usually take out the opponent. Headshot. You saw that. I don't know if I hit all three shots on that one. Um, now, even though it kind of does look like it, it does not have area damage. And I've tested it out. I'm about 100% sure it does not have area damage. But it does have the shooting in three directions. So... Just hitting one bullet does about as much damage as your average sniper. It does about half their shield. So, it's really cool that it deals so much damage. And let's see if we can get a kill right here. So, as you can see, this thing is really overpowered. Um, I've gotten about every single shot was a one-shot. Except for, I think, one. Yeah. So, um, higher level or higher armored players, it'll be a two-tap if you do not hit every single one of the, the arrows. Like this. Let's see if I can hit every arrow. Come on. There, I hit every arrow and it was a one-tap. Unless he was already low. And then... Yeah, so, if you hit almost every arrow, it's a one-tap. You can see he's, like, really, really low. After that, I only hit one arrow. And then when you snipe, it's actually still pretty accurate. And it has bullet travel time, sadly, because basically every weapon the developers are adding now has travel time. And my aim actually is really good with, um... Travel time snipers. Um, so I'm not really be going to be scoping much. Mm, 
This is actually a weapon that I've seen people use already just to scam people in duels. People would put in their loadout with their Cthulhu Legacy, they'll put this thing because it is just really overpowered. Um, of course, I would definitely recommend grinding in Battle Pass to get this because I'm guessing a lot of players are going to ask for this to be nerfed and it's going to be nerfed soon. And the um, the virus sniper thing that is out in the van right now, I'm actually saving up to get it. I've got like four days or something like that. So I'm going to save up my coins and get it, and then I can make a review on that. So now, that was a nice 22 kills, really overpowered sniper. Now I'm going to head over to a place where I can do category spam with it. So I think an Arabian Dust would be a great map for this so i've already got a category spam loadout equipped and i'm going to start off with the crossbow where where did you go okay i don't i'm not sure if it has delay or not here i'm going to test it i'm going to equip something like the laser bouncer and i'm going to go output yes Okay, it's got output and input, so, um, which is fine. All you really need is the necklace, the ice king, and as your heavy, something that does not have input, which is most three cat spam heavies. Um, so you can see I'm doing a ton of damage with this crossbow. This crossbow tends to one shot just like it just did there and let's see when this guy will come oh there we go we got him easy kill there and then we go crossbow oh and he just one tapped me with that thing that thing in my opinion needs to be nerfed i think the developers need to really test their weapons before they actually bring them into the game because a bunch of their weapons that they're bringing in do not seem to actually be tested or tested i mean or they should have like they should give it out to some of the most popular YouTubers, like, I don't know, Echo Soldier, Big B, people like that. And then they should give the their weapons out to them. And then they can give them feedback, because a bunch of their weapons have been huge mistakes. I mean, the Titanic set basically made you invincible. Um... Offensive Fireworks, which is actually not that long ago, was basically Aphrodite Crossbow, except a guaranteed one-shot almost every time. Ice Club was broken, but that one was actually quite a long time ago. I think they actually test their weapons a tiny bit now. But when they brought out the Titanic set, it was kind of obviously didn't test it. Um... So you can see this weapon is really overpowered. Um, I wasn't doing that well in um, 3 cat spam with it because I'm still getting used to the weapon itself. So I'm going to try one more match. Um, I'm going to head into a different map now. So I don't know if this weapon will actually do that well. And... Um, Maps are more open, but that's why I'm going to head into a ghost town, and we'll see if it's actually okay in more open maps, because of course in closer maps, it's easier to hit multiple shots. Okay, so now I have a high ground. Yeah, so as you see here now, 
it's actually kind of hard to hit it because it has that travel time. There we go. So the opponents have to like be barely moving or you just have to really anticipate where they're going um, to be able to get a kill with this thing. Let's, okay, I'm just going to try using just this weapon now. Wait, can you actually, no, you can't. Okay, I was, I was thinking maybe you could rocket jump with this weapon. Okay, I got a nice two kills with it only. Yeah, that travel time is definitely something that really brings back this weapon. Um, otherwise, it's actually quite a uh, nice weapon to have. It's like offensive fireworks. Again, it's like just a reskin of it and turned into a sniper. There we go, got another kill. Let's get the high ground. I just blew myself up. Okay, I'm going to put the shield on. And, oh, I hit that guy. Okay. So the charm effect isn't that great, but, I mean, it lowers the damage, I think, that the opponents do. I think that's what it does. Okay, I hit that guy again. I keep hitting the same guy, and he doesn't seem to really die. Maybe he's healing or something. That guy's low. Okay. So a bunch of three cat spammers here. Again, I'm kind of bad with the crossbow at the moment. Oh, I just got a double kill with the same shot. Nice. Oh, multi kill. Spam the crossbow, get another kill. Okay, I didn't do another kill. So, um, this weapon is pretty great. Um, out of 10, I'm, I'm going to say it's an 8. It's a great weapon overall. Just, what brings it back is it has that um, the travel time and then it has both types of delays it has input and output I'm happy it does not have a fixed delay though but it does have input and output which really brings it back if you're trying to cat spam with it um, and bullet travel time I guess some of you that are really used to like um, heavy spamming and stuff um, this weapon would probably be for you because you guys probably know exactly how to aim the travel time projectiles. I'm just not that great with travel time because I'm more used to the weapons that actually like mainly just go right to the opponent. Um, I'm only used to having travel time on my heavy weapon, and my heavy weapon usually has a big area damage. Or I just use it for rocket jumping. So, if you guys are really used to this type of weapon, the ones that have the travel time, then go ahead and use this weapon. It's really overpowered. Um, I would say it's geared more towards playing casual, though, than playing category spam. Category spam, of course, is great with the weapon as well. You can try it. Tell me in the comment section how it worked out for you. And also in the comment section down below, I want you guys to tell me again 
what is your favorite type of video that I make? Do you guys like the weapon views, the weapon comparisons, the tutorials, the montage, the um, gameplay? What do you guys like so that I know what to make my future videos about? And I think that's going to be it. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there is a tiny bit of area damage. Either that or one of the bullets just hit him. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next web review. Bye-bye.